Good afternoon, wherever you are, around the world and in your home or upside down and standing on your head. <laughs> anyway, vlogging stuff I'm doing these days, so that's um, finished actually. That is a control panel. One of a number of control panels, that is. I put it on wheels. This is a good idea to do that. The different areas I can run this thing around on. Let's say I'm doing magnetic stuff with, over there. Or radio stuff all over the place. Or high voltage. 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 <laughs> so I got various variax and gauges, of course. As you can tell, there's no modern stuff here. Oh, maybe this is a little more modern down here, huh? An interesting thing I got from the scrapyard. It's locked in there or something. <laughs> yeah, could be. All these good old center goes. But inside is kind of nice. And newer tech in here and other things like that. So inside it's um, a okay. Outside it's a little dirty, but I'll clean that up and paint it all, I suppose. Nice control panel. Some industrial outlet. So I added it to the older stuff. They operate a lot of stuff, and then the variacs are up here for high voltage transformer feeding and all that. Tom, where did I put my current limiter? Oh, down here. It's another one I did the other day. Got that properly arranged on wheels. And it's a huge variac, so it's always good to have current limiters. I think. If you want a cheap current limiter, just get an old uh, hot plate or stove nichrome wire thing and just put taps on it for different intensities and amperes and milliampere and whatever you're doing. So, so, <laughs> that's it doing today. I got that organized. I used the fork trying to lift it up and just held it there and then screwed it in several places like, oh well, not gonna go anywhere. Uh, can I open it again? Yeah, down here. See the bolt sticking up? That goes right through this heavy duty thing I built it a year, a couple of years ago. Then, uh, to keep it really sturdy, I put a pipe at the back Going right through several inches of wood, and I have one of these fittings here, and then that keeps it stable. Stable. Oh, well, that's okay. So eh, I've been busy doing that, and I got this patient here to do. Trying to go to um, my toggle switches. And one broken toggle switch in this system. So. Eh, so. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, nice toggle switches. Dirt cheap, too. But, I don't know. I think they're pretty good. They're only seven bucks or something like that. Four of them. Nice. Yeah, what else have I been doing? Okay, so I got this pretty much finished. That brass piece I uh, machined some days ago because I'm missing its panel. It's a quarter inch thick brass plate. Oh well, so what? And um, the only toggle switches and it's finished. Then I have made a box for it. And I'll do a video when I put it together. Let's go look at the box. 
box. And that whole thing slides in there just perfect. It was missing its case, so I made my own case. Yeah, it's guaranteed to put a car on it and wouldn't hurt it. <laughs> this is the underside of the radio over here. This piece. All right, please put this on. Navy. Uh, type. Blah, blah, blah. So that's on there. It all looks pretty cool, I think, anyway. See, I'm busy. Every day I'm busy. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, a little busy body. Hi. So, yeah, I'll organize some of this. This is a uh, uh, carbon arc stuff. A generator and variax down here. Magnetic field alignment. So I'll run this with a smaller motor, right? Get it up to speed and use the um, direct current to drive certain things. That was looking pretty cool. I rearrange this area a little bit too. As new arrivals keep coming in, I keep doing stuff. Uh, let's see. I have a chair to sit by a control panel area. Right there. Oh, we're getting there. Let's see. Wave meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's okay for me. So, yeah, that's okay. Amplifier good from 50 and um, 10 to 500 mm, megacycles. Good scope, very sensitive. Then down here, I have heavy stuff. And where are we going? Here? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun. Big racks. How many racks? Oh, three. Okay, this area. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it around this corner? Oh, my hand going here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good old iPad, you know. The transmission system. RF amplifiers at the base. Some strange stuff there. Power supplies down there. DC type power supply. Antennas. Hmm, okay, so got many areas kind of like this. <laughs> There's the arm there too and all over the place. But having fun. So looking very good. Everything works. been an interesting year of gaming stuff and other things in the year prior to as well. See, I'm dragging a cord on an old iPad. Battery probably will have that. Yeah, so let's see what I'll be doing tomorrow. Hmm. That's finished. So let's take a poll. 
a bit of a hmm, showman kind of person, or oh, guess what I got? Dazzle the public, whatever it is. So I got something moving around. I hope. <laughs> And it's fairly repeatable like the old days. So I just call up Fox TV. I have a personal friend that's Fox producer. I appeared on some of his shows already. So I could probably call him up and make him a film it. No point in keeping secrets, just get in trouble that way. Be open and honest. A lot of people aren't, unfortunately. Huh. Sad but true. There have been a number of cooks in, in this weird energy stuff over the years, too. Sterling D. Allen, the FBI clown. Oh, we've got the FBI agent. The last got him in jail, so <clears throat> we kept Agent Russ informed when he's hanging around. Yeah, I'm not good. And there's the other characters, so gee. So the Sterling V. Allen, the guy I always forget to mention his name. Oh, mm. Pantone. Crack Attic. Oh, let's see. And there's John Searle. And a bunch of these idiots that don't know what they're doing and got caught. But well, that's old Cossie, as they say in England. Every bloody coffee, I tell you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Bob's your uncle. Anyway, anyway, I had a fun today being very busy. Huge amounts of energy, so. It's fun. It's fun. I, mean, I could walk down, push that down the street, you know. <laughs> Got wheels and had a little sign on the back of that. There's the back of the pipe. It's free shock treatments. Are you going bonkers? Give me, let me, you know, you probably get a lot of people coming around. You got a lot of people looking at what the hell is this nut doing? I've done that kind of stuff. I just got arrested too. I got dressed up as an old man. Had a mask all over and all the old rotten clothes walking around Edgemont Village. North Vancouver Bridge County, San Juan River, 30452 Drive, North Vancouver Bridge County, Canada. Because <laughs> uh, the uh, traffic was stopping. And I did that kind of stuff in downtown Vancouver. A, a different modality of clothing and, you know, it's just. For some reason, people like funny stuff, I suppose. I've done a lot of that stuff anyway. I'm sure that way to make uh, the local newspaper. Crazy scientist, lunatic, blah, 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 and all the history, I'm sure, be poured out. Speaking of scientists, some little scientists out there, whoever they are, playing games with everybody again, you know, it's the same old internet junk. I'll find out tonight when I open my emails, because somebody's imitating somebody else. And it's just these little characters, you know, they're totally bonkers. That the kind of stuff's been around for a while, you know. Internet hackers or internet funny people or have nothing better to do. So 14 minutes and 50, almost 15 minutes now. So I should get going and 
take my vitamins and take the cigarettes. Yes, I will. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, I'm just on an endorphin high, so I'll get drinking my vitamins for Pete's sake. Anyway, catch you like guys later, girls, whoever, aliens, people like town, um, fantasies and everything else. <laughs> Some guy, what's he, I forget his name now. Oh, I need money to do this. I, I need money to make this thing and then I'll buy that. I'm going to send you diagrams and all this garbage. I suggest making it before you start contacting people for Pete's sake. But anyway, I gotta go.